The long and arduous journey to the Vaal starts off in the first race with Tony Soprano, horse number 10. Yeah, he's having his uh, first run back in a, in a while, Andrew. He uh, injured himself a bit in the starting stalls in his last start, breaking through. And uh, he's recovered well and, and, and uh, you know, his first run back, as I say, he might still be very green. He's a, he's a nervy type of a horse. So, you know, we're holding thumbs for the starting stalls. And uh, I don't think he'll be completely out of it. But I do think he'll still need the run and he might still be very green. So add him into the quartets and, and exotics. But uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't label him as a winner. Excellent. Then Big Dreamer is uh, alongside Streets Ahead. And... Hopefully getting fitter and living up to the expectations that we all have. Andrew, yeah, I think both of them, we're hoping for improvement. Uh, they sort of slower staying type of horses and they're going to get their chance some other time. And, and these longer distance races are, you know, often on the weak side. And uh, both of them has run reasonable races. So obviously Streets Ahead would be the choice of the two. She's run a couple of places over distance and uh, I think she can repeat it. And obviously being a filly, there's a bit of weight allowance. Uh, Big Dreamer, he, he's still finding his way. But I think the further we go, the better he'll be. Okay, and then a shareholder, um, one day he's going to start living up to his pedigree uh, as it suggests it should be. He will, and he's, he's, he's got seriously decent form as a young horse. Um, uh, he shows us a, a lot on the training track, and it's just a way of figuring him out. He's, uh, he's, he's, a, he's an interesting horse. Uh, you know, the first start or two for us, uh, he held his breath, and uh, it seems to have gotten better when tying his tongue. So we're going that route. And uh, like you say, he's going to stick his nose in there sooner or later. His work certainly suggests that he has a good chance. Let's get on to exactly the way things are supposed to be. Clean living. Yes, uh, we, we all strive to, to achieve that in life. Uh, Andrew, I was disappointed with her run last time. I really thought we had a good chance. Uh, I think, you know, her being a smallish type of filly and not, you know, she just sees a thousand meters. Uh, with the wet track uh, and her small little feet, I think she just went in too deep and, and it just didn't suit her. Um, uh, Muzi said that, you know, she just struggled in the end. And uh, I'm hoping that the tracks will be in better nick for her. And uh, if they are, she, she could be a live one. So, so maybe discard the, 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 the last run or two. And uh, uh, she's definitely better than that. You've never ever been short of confidence with regard to the ability of Iron Tail. He has started to deliver in spades. You know the family well. Can he continue on his merry way? I honestly think he can, Andrew. He, he ran a very, very gallant race when he won his last start. And uh, we basically, you know, just hoping for a repeat. I, I honestly think the run would have brought him on in leaps and bounds. And... Uh, Hopefully he can, he can uh, supply his owners with some, with some uh, uh, joy. Uh, the, uh, Arne and, and, and Bernard was involved in a, in a terrible accident yesterday, carting horses, you know, to be covered and uh, uh, just sort of wishing them all the best. And uh, Bernard, that's still in ICU with a broken arm. You know, let's hope that uh, we, can, we can give him a, a, a bit of a smile on his face when Iron Tail wins again. Yeah, well, Arne himself is a walking miracle. I mean, how he walked away from his first accident is only the Lord above knows. That is true, uh, uh, Andrew. And, uh, you know, it gets back to the clean living side of things again. I think we all can just sort of attest to the miracles that, uh, you know, happens to us daily and, and, and you know, how we are protected often and uh, just wishing them all the best. Super. And then to put the lid on your day, if she can live up to 10% of the heady heights that Big City Life achieved. <laughs> let's, let's hope that Big City Girl is heading in the right direction. Yes, Andrew, she, she's obviously not nearly in the same type of class, but she's done us proud and, and she's won a good couple of races. She's a gutsy filly and, and on her day, she, she can really turn it on. So, so don't leave her out. It's not a banker, but put her in the exotic. She, she might stick her nose in there. Are we then agreed that perhaps Iron Tail might be the the serious firepower of the day. He'll be our flagship for the day. I really expect him to run a good race again, Andrew. <laughs>